This patient has undergone previous ankle and hind foot arthrodesis, but went on to non-union. So first I need to remove the internal fixation, which is a rod. He's had a prior lateral approach, which you can see here. I'm going to work into this joint here. And you can see this is the ankle joint right here, right above this screw hole from the interlocking screw in the talus. And I'm going to prepare this enough that I can feel confident that I can optimize his chance for union. This is allograft chips mixed with his own blood that's been spun down to a platelet-rich product. And here you see it says vancomycin, so I put a small amount of vancomycin powder. You can certainly argue that probably washes away in the first few seconds, but it makes me feel better that I have something in there that may help fight any uh, infection that may occur intraoperatively here, any bacterial contamination. So here is uh, the bone graft, and you can see it's, it's into a nice paste. Despite the previous surgery, I really think that this closed up well, and despite having corrected the hind foot alignment slightly, which would put a little more tension on this wound, but it's a longitudinal incision and the effect is not great. Okay, so I have this proximal ring block here. It's just two full rings that I'm connected with these sockets. And this can be varied, but it allows me more options if I have two rings and perhaps it'll be slightly more stable. So I've cut the pin on the bottom of the foot to allow me to slide this over. Had I not cut this pin down here, I would have had some difficulty. I'm just going to bend this around the ring for basically creating a little square. And then I'm going to plug this into one of the holes that's there so that it can't bind up. So now we have a good uh, proximal ring. And again, everything's just stable. Proximally, I can work on the foot now, and then we'll connect the two. And that wire looks fairly straight, and it should come across in an area where I can fixate that very well. We haven't even uh, tension, but we have full control of this foot and ankle. I think this alignment looks uh, ideal. Now I've got this lined up very well with the heel. You can see this here. And what we're going to do is try to drive this right down. I could aim just slightly lateral maybe and maybe get more of the calcaneus this way, but I like a half pin in the heel. And I want to go right down the axis of the calcaneus with this. Okay, so he has a little number, so the computer will tell us what to do, but we need to know which struts to turn. So we'll match these corresponding numbers. So one, two, three, and then we'll work our way around. Every one of these pin sites gets zero form and then do a little figure of eight dressing around it. <laughs>